I'm gonna walk you through how the batch export works. So when you click on the export icon, you can come to file and click on export and it would automatically lead you here. It will be on a single file. This is to export a single file. If I click on this, I'm exporting a single file. We want to do batch export, so we click on batch export and it's divided into layers, pages and sections. The layer here is like this whole canvas. Exporting the layer would mean exporting everything in this canvas. A canvas is the space to design, so you'll be exporting everything in it, which might take some time because this file this file is north of 30 megabytes. Exporting it would take uh, some amount of time. What we do to export multiple files is the selection. You click on the selection tab and here you can see that the first box I have here appears here. If I press down shift and click on the next box, you can see it appears there. Now it won't show the content of the boxes. I, I don't know why it does that, but it won't show the content of the boxes. and that's actually okay when you export the document you find out that all of these empty boxes have the content in them as you mean we want to export all of this at once we are going to have to come down here and click on export but before clicking on export you want to make sure that the format is in png because most times it goes to svg that won't really be good if you're trying to use it for social media or some other purpose so save it as a png adjust the dpi according to the way you want and if you want to export just the backgrounds that you've selected you click on export selected only if you want the content to appear you, you don't select the export selected only for example if i select this one box if i export this one box it's going to export it with the content but if i click on export selected only it's going to export just this without the content and with that I already exported this so we'll just click on it again so a quick tip here when exporting this all of these files are going to have the name bitmap in front with all of these names of the files here so the first file is going to be bitmap underscore g24228 yeah and same for the other files it's going to take the name of the box after the bitmap and what you want to do is you want to change the location to somewhere where it would be suitable because this right here will be saving to a file I don't want. So I'll click on this icon right here and change up the folder. And you'd want to change the file type here to PNG. And that's kind of it for this video.